guys, so today I'm going to talk about this decoat. It's got so much of flares. Look at this. And you know why this decoat was introduced? Uh, all my brides whose wedding I have done knows that the moment they feel uncomfortable with the can can, the first thing I do is chop off the can can because there is nothing that can be done. Literally, you know what happens? Like the bride sits for her mandap like this, okay? This is fitted because you don't have a can-can here. But apart from this, this area, it's huge can-can. And that can-can is so harsh that it keeps in your hands. And the brides are like, Dolly ji lag raha hai, Dolly ji lag raha hai. And there is nothing that I can do that minute. And the only solution I can find is to take away that extra can-can which gives you this. I mean girls, be sensible. You don't need this kind of a can-can. I was doing a bride and literally I will tell you that her can-can was like this. She was like this. Okay? And her can-can was like this. And the groom was supposed to come close for the varmala. The groom couldn't. Couldn't because there was no space. Can you imagine the kind of situation? It was so strange. So be sensible. If you want little flare down, I understand it looks nice. But not this. Like not the umbrella inside your skirt. Right? So I think that's the reason I introduced this. Now what this does is, this gives you enough volume that you need. Look. But doesn't give you, doesn't hurt you. And also the kind of, you know, see, I'll show you. The kind of can-can that we've used is soft. The kind of net that we've used is soft. And we've also given you an edging here. See, look at this edging. And then you have a layer on top. And then you have another layer. Now what happens is that edging is so important. Whenever you buy a lehenga, see to it whether your lehenga has that edging in the can-can or not. If the can-can is too kadak, please ask the designer to change because it is so uncomfortable by the end of the day. You want to enjoy your D-Day, you want to enjoy and be comfortable on your special day and not keep bothering about your underskirt and something to aapko chub under, right? So I think that is the reason this is there. This just fits from here, gives you nice flare. If you want an extra bounce in this, you can always order for an extra bounce. But I think this much is more than enough because this sits on your lehenga so beautifully. Also, it is so easy to store. I mean, you know, if you buy that can can wala cheese, I mean, if you have, say, five functions and you bought five lehengas with five huge can-cans, how do you store them? But if you have something like this, just buy one of this or two of this according to the color of your lehenga and just slip this inside your lehenga. Okay, this is not only to be worn inside, but you can wear it outside also exactly like the way I'm wearing it. I'm going to show a drape on this, how beautifully you can club it. I wear it with a kurta, like a... This length kurta and it looks beautiful because it's almost like a skirt. You can wear it with a crop top. It's got a beautiful pocket here. See? So you can slip in your little uh, card and your uh, lip balms and all inside this. And it just, you can wear it with a crop top, you can wear it with a belt and you can style it in as many as ways you want. But for me, the main thing that I like about this skirt is a, it is very comfortable. B, it's got multiple utility. I can wear it with saris. I can wear it with lehengas. I can wear it just with the dupatta. Like, and I can wear a blouse which has like a similar kind of a fabric and an embroidery and just take a beautiful dupatta and enhance it. So let me know in the comment section below what do you think about this skirt. Yoohoo!